For our February William Bird Tune of the Month, I've chosen the exuberant and uplifting anthem, Sing Joyfully, which is one of my favourites. Um, it was written during the 1590s um, and very popular in its day, as it still is today. Um, it's the setting of Psalm 81, the first four verses. Um, and it's just a fantastic example of Bird's Madrigalian style, which has been full of word painting and expression. Um, even the opening phrase, sing joyfully, is light and bouncy and epitomises cheerfulness. Um, and then on sing loud, we have a sort of nice sort of sing-off going on between singers. Um, and by contrast, when we get to the pleasant harp and the viol, it's a really lovely strung out lyrical phrase. Um, and then it's rudely interrupted by blue the trumpet in the new moon, which is sort of sets of voices fanfare-like against each other. Um, and when we get to the words for this is a statute, there's a nice pompous block chord, but still with a sort of cheeky offset soprano phrase to keep things lively. I really love it. It's such a great piece. And I hope you enjoy this performance, um, which we filmed in the wonderful Christopher Wren Church, St Stephen's Walbrook in London, um, in rehearsals. Um, and I hope it will inspire you to come along to one of our concert programmes, England's Nightingale, um, which we're performing throughout the UK and overseas this year to celebrate Bird's 400th anniversary year. Um, this month we're performing it on the 22nd of February in Keele University Chapel, and do come along um, if you're anywhere near that part of the world. And finally, um, you may know that we've recorded a disc of Bird's music which has just been released, and we've been really pleased with responses to it so far. Um, if you would like a copy and you don't have one already, do order it through the recording section of our website. Thank you. Sing joyfully, sing joyfully.